It's been an eventful season, but its conclusion is upon us. Head outside. Final four in this game. I was, I was thinking about the end game whenever I was like, when there's down to like 10, I think. And I was just thinking, wow, this is a lot further than I thought I'd ever make it. And now it's unbelievable. I'm glad I made it here. Final four, welcome to your final challenge. The winner of this challenge is the final top of the totem pole. They may place the totem pole however they please, but whoever they place at the bottom of the totem pole will be eliminated. The final three will face the jury. So essentially, you're picking who you're taking with you to the final three. This is an endurance competition. You will balance the totem pole in your hand as long as you can. The last person to have a totem pole in their hand is the final top of the totem pole. Okay, I need to win this. Like, if I don't win this, there's no way I'm going to be the final three. They're gonna chop me off. None of these people have my back. I have to win. This is the make or break challenge. If I don't win this challenge, I'm fairly certain I'm done. We're now going to add a piece. I hate having to do this in front of Emery, but I need to come up with a plan. Sorry, Emery, but I feel like the three people who've held it the longest should get to go to the final. I agree. But that's just me. Mason, what do you think? I agree with that. You agree with that? Yeah. Nick asked me if I agree that the final three should be the people who made it the longest in the challenge, and that's true, I do agree with that. But, that gets in the way of me winning. Do you trust me? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know if I trust you. Mason, what's my idea? Mason, I've been nothing but a friend to you the entire game. I 
open up in front of you too. So you can drop. I am not going to give up on this challenge because I know that if I lose this, I will not win. So I have to win. I cannot give up on this. All right, Mason. If I drop, I'm going to trust you, right? <laughs> right? It makes me nervous that Mason is not giving me a answer right off of that. I know I have to play this out and let's see who actually wins. Okay, never <laughs> mind. We'll just play it out. I mean, I've been working with you so close this whole time, but right now it's the final four and somebody's gotta win, so I can't trust anybody at this point. I'm a little bit hurt. I can't trust him and he can't trust me, evidently. So I'm going for the win for the challenge. That's my word. Alright. I, I, I truly believe that because we held the longest, we should, you know, like, I feel like that's the only fair way for this competition to go. But, I mean, everybody's got a different agenda, right? Yep. So, it's up to you. I'm gonna play, you can play. working together the entire game and now he's not going to trust me. So the weight is just getting so heavy, my arm is starting to fall down, it's starting to go to the left a little bit, the staff is just getting higher, I'm starting to get worried that I'm not going to This challenge has gone on for a lot longer than I thought it should have. So the weight is getting so heavy and my arm is shaking so much that I'm starting to think of taking Nick up on his offer. got the top of the total pole. I finally won and took power right whenever I needed to. <sighs> now I can put my plan into action and take my final shot that I need to take. Mason, you are the final top of the totem pole. You will now select the rest of your totem pole, thus selecting who will be joining you in the final three. Place your people now. The way that I'm going to place my totem pole is I'm going to take the people that I think I have the best chance against in the final. So with that being said, Henry, you're number two. Allison, you've played a phenomenal game. And Nick, 
I think you played a better one. You got top of the total pool three times, and that is such an amazing feat. But Allison, you were number three. Nick, you're at the bottom of the total pool. Allison's played a really good game, she has a lot of friends on the jury, and I've made quite a few people mad, so I hope that they're not bitter towards me. Hello jury, you've all been eliminated at some point in the game. The final three have outlasted you, and now you get to discuss them. Now I'm going to step back and let you have at it, because I believe some of you have some things to say. Oh Nick, you already know I had something to say about you, you was in the final three. Mm -hmm. My name was in your mouth a couple times. <laughs> I, I expected that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just know how I'm feeling. I just gotta get it out of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> just a show of hands, who all felt personally stabbed in the back by Mason? Oh, um, Mason. Two hands up. Through brother. Mason. Two through hands Mason. up. Hey, brother. Mm. He gave me, he, he honestly gave me the nicest he, he, okay, he eliminated me the nicest way possible. Oh, oh he was so nice. nice. You so can be nice. nice. <laughs> when he chose the final three, were you a part of okay. it? No. So you can't be nice about it. Okay, Think yes. about that. We were, we were talking about it during the uh, the last challenge, right? I was like, okay, Mason, if I drop these, are you going to take the three who held it longest to the final three? He's like, yeah, I'd do that. I feel like the three people who held it the longest should get to go to the final. Mason, what do you think? I agree with that. You agree with that? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, in, in that sense, I feel kind of betrayed. He made a smart move, but yes, in that, a sense, smart move. So, in that sense, I do feel somewhat he, betrayed. He played the game well. He just stabbed a lot of backs. He stabbed my back, especially. Mm. Oh man. When he heard no one could be saved, he was like, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> and it, it was me and I got out for that first round. I choose to switch Tim and Micah. I don't know what to say. I'm so angry. Like, <laughs> I feel so betrayed. How heated are you? Oh my goodness. I am so heated. Oh my goodness. I thought I was close to him. I was like, yeah, me and Mason, we can do all this together. He goes, <laughs> Babe. <laughs> And he's oh, like really quiet. I have this gut feeling about Mason. I just don't think he's very loyal, very faithful, can't trust him, and I want him out. I mean, I feel like he, had, he, not, he didn't personally victimize me to my face, but I know he probably did it behind my back. Exactly. I'm gonna just, I don't know. He, he did straight to my face. He came, oh my we goodness. were all talking in their strategy hardcore, and he just stands there and doesn't say a word. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, come through. Walks out and is a whole different plan. My question is, is like between all three of them, it's like, did they even have a strategy? I don't have respect for people who didn't have like a, a goal or like a method. If it's just like I don't stabbing people in the back thing. until you get in the final three, like I can't really respect that. And I feel like out of the three, I'm having a hard time deciding who I well, would vote. I, mean, I feel like the one with the least plan or least amount of plan was Emma. Everybody said, what did I say? I said, let's get me. And y'all are like, no, he's the homie. Well, look at him now. And then I said, Emery. I said, Emery is cool and she's a great time, but she's gonna be that quiet person who is in the end. She's like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm look at her now. And she's chilling and she's all happy because she's my top three. My, my thing is, like, like Hannah, I wouldn't say I don't have no respect for them. That's you go. Um, <laughs> I have a big thing on loyalty. And <laughs> when. <laughs> <laughs> and when you tell me to my face, 
face that you're gonna do this, like we're on the same team, we got each other's back, but then you go to another room, or like you tell me that that's the final decision. Hey, then remember that to... one time whenever I was in an alliance? <laughs> 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 in the I didn't So did she have strategy? Did you see her strategy when you were working with her? Any strategy from her? Kind of. She 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 I feel like she did more than I was doing. We're not talking about Allison. Like okay, she's Allison. coming. She's coming because she's the best. She has the less negative things yeah, to say, I feel. Yeah. Because you know what? I, I thought her to strategy Emery. though. I talked to Emery, I don't know what Allison, but she's been nice to me. But Emery, like I was like, okay. Girl, like I, when it was just us three, and we could get like maybe one more boy to tie over the vote, I was like, "Girl, stick together." She was like, "Yes, girl, I got you." And then what's she gonna do? She gonna put me on that block, like me and Chandler. <laughs> that, that was my bad. That was on me. How was that on you? Cause I'm pretty sure she said my name. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Did you tell her? her to say my name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said my name. Okay, but she listened to you, so that's her problem. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you guys. I didn't make it that far in the game, but for those of you who are backstabbed, when it comes to your vote, how much is it like game recognized game of like respect for someone who played a good game versus someone who's like a personal loyalty? Here's how I see it. Allison played like a tough game, yeah. but she did it in a respectful way. Yeah. Like Allison, she like, she was very clever. I think she did like get rid of people, but I don't think that she was like rude about it. I think she did it in like a respectful way. Mason, um, Emery, I feel like she didn't make enough moves. To be like, oh yeah, you did it, you killed it. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel Unless like anyone, she contributed yeah. a lot. I don't think she did at all. She, like, she, she just kind of. We had that conversation about her being a girl. Oh, but we got to talk about it. I told you. And no one I told you. I told you. I told you. Remember, John and Mason said he's like, I would rather take a drifter to the final than someone who's played a good game. Drifter to the finale than somebody who's played a super good game. Because somebody that's played a really good game is going to get a lot of votes. Somebody that drifts, watch it. And which is exactly what he said to me. That's I'm just like, Mason? I don't like the way that sounds. Oh, Mason is savage. He asked me to get hurt. He was like, I'm gonna just take this quiet girl, and I'm gonna sit all comfortable, and I'm gonna get all of them. I would say that too because the whole reason I got out, I feel like it's because I was very vocal and I definitely came across this if I had a plan and that like yeah. eventually along yeah. the way one of y'all were going to be on that list, you yeah. know, but I feel like with Emery and um, with Mason, like whenever I would talk to them, whenever I went to a table and talked to them, like they were so tight lipped and like Emery, maybe she was just like that the whole time, whereas Mason kind of felt like he could eventually, like, you know, make some moves eventually. How you did know? you tell all that? You were in for like one round. Because I literally <laughs> sat down. You were in for one round. That's why I'm like, I don't know what's I know. happening. I'm kind of just listening, like, oh my gosh, Mason, yeah. wow. And I'm yeah. like, I, I didn't know anything. When I looked them in the face and said, hey, you should totally vote for Janine, they were like, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what did you guys think about the game? Because I feel like Allison and Emery did a good job. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, they just like rode Mason's back. I know, oh, like, uh, Allison did not ride Mason. I, Allison, I, know. I, 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 I feel like they just rode his back all the way to the finals and they Mason just brought him there. He chased know? his coattails, let's say that. I don't know. Okay, who do you all think made like relationships to get to the end? Sounds like you guys have uh, a few questions. So, let's bring them in. Come on in, guys. Hannah, 13th place, ask your question. What was your strategy this whole time, or did you have a strategy? Um, well, my strategy at first was just to sort of observe, you know, and have everyone come to me. Um, after that, my strategy was sort of to form alliances and stay true to those. Good answer. Thank you. Lydia, in 12th place, what is your question? Allison. <laughs> What makes you qualified for the winner of Totem Pole? I think I played a good strategy with having alliances and play advantages at the right times. 
In 10th place, Garcelle. What is your question to the top three? My question is for Emery. You played a very quiet, not as, I'd say, aggressive game. Can you just tell us anything that you think was like cutthroat or just anything that you think really earned you the spot up there? Um, probably the most cutthroat moment was when Jackson was like, hey, I'm willing to flip to your side. And I was like, sorry, we're kind of voting you out. Okay, but who'd the vote settle on? If it's me, I understand. It was you. Okay. Janice, in ninth place, what is your question to the final three? So I got voted out twice. Did any of you actually want me to be in the game? I did want you to be in the game, yes. I personally was excited when you came back because I thought any of the others I'd be scared of. Yeah. Oh. I wanted you to come back. You thought I was easy competition? Not easy competition, just uh, not as intimidating. Oh. I guess. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not sure which one is more insulting. I didn't want you there because I don't like you, or I wanted you there because I thought you'd be used to me. Like, what? Like um, they said they wanted you there, but they surely did not clap when you walked through that door. Yeah, the minute I walked through that door, you know what I heard? Hi, everybody! <laughs> oh. Micah, in eighth place, I know you have a question. Do you honestly and truthfully think you played a good, clean round out there today or throughout this whole season? Yes, I do. Not what I heard. How do I know? I don't think it's just me. I feel like there's a couple of people in this in this room right now that feels backstabbed by you. That we thought we were close with you, but then we turn around and see you with a knife and Scouting in our guts. Micah, don't worry. Wait till he gets to me. Oh. Oh. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Yeah. It's a little hot. <laughs> if you want to judge the game on personal feelings about me backstabbing you, then that's okay. But I believe that the best, the best way to judge this for the three of us sitting up here is who took the biggest shots, who took out the heaviest hitters, and who played the best game. And I personally think you're a great player. That's why I took you out. That's why I took my shot when I did. Same thing with Nick, same thing with Tim. Well, we were in that final challenge. We had, I don't even know, 9, 11, 12 blocks. I asked you, Mason, who do you, do you believe that the people who stayed in the longest are the most deserving of being in the game, or being in the final three. Did you pick those people? And do you think that that kind of quality is indicative of the winner of Totem Pole? I think that me not lying to you and outlasting you in that situation and me being here is indicative of me deserving the spot. But I mean, you did lie to him. No, I didn't. You said I, no, listen. I said that I do believe that the three people that stayed in the longest should be here. But my personal will to win supersedes that belief. Let the heavy hitters do their hitting in the beginning, knock each other out, and then whenever I saw my time, I was striking. That's why I did with Micah, then with Tim, then with Nick. I chose to take them out because I knew that they were strong, local, athletic, smart leaders in this group. I knew that if it came down to the final three, between us four, I wouldn't even be here probably. I knew that you guys were better than me in this. So I saw my shot and I took it. I had to take you guys down because I knew if y'all were still in it, then I wouldn't win. And I feel like that strategy worked out pretty well for me. Well, I also came into this game, you know, wanting to win, but not expecting to be here. You know, it's a rough game with lots of twists and turns, but I feel like I competed well. I may have not 
won a competition, but the first one I was in the top five. Um, obviously my alliances worked out pretty well. I was at the top of, like near the top of the totem pole. A lot of the game, um, I used my advantages when necessary. I um, talked to people when voting. I feel like I was a big part in voting for people. Well, I came into this competition um, not really knowing what to expect. Um, I was just hoping to have a good time. Um, I wasn't really expecting to win, honestly, at all, or make it this far. But um, to this whole season, um, I feel like I've met some new people and seen people in a different light. Um, I think that I deserve to win. Um, and that's all I have to say. It's been a great, it's been a great season with you all. Um, I'm thankful for everyone I've met. Thank you, final three. It is now up to the jury to decide a winner. I vote for Emory to win. I vote for Mason to win. I vote for Allison to win. I vote for Allison to win. Vote for Mason to win. Final three. Congratulations on making it this far. But there has to be one winner. The jury has decided. Jury, come on in. And the winner. of the totem pole is Mason. I vote for Mason to win. I vote Mason. This is Renee. Hey. This is for Wesley. Oh, hi. Wesley, you are the best. And I <laughs> Whoever did that take for you. So my one goal was to make it out of round one. Because leading up to this game, we've actually played totem pole a couple times at school. And I've gotten voted out in the first round every single time. And today I made it to the second round. And so I'm really proud of that. Thanks. We're raw. We were raw. raw. Treat it. Me and Garcelle should have been in the final three, but look what we have now. This is late. This is fixed. <laughs> I did not stand for it. See, just do not want to see us up there. See, y'all just do not want to see the chocolates up there. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Are you looking forward to the second season? That's what it is.